Gators playing host to the Seahawks of UNC Wilmington, who started the game with three turnovers in 30 seconds, and Compto has the first points of the night. Florida stays man-to-man, -man, open up man-to-man. -man. They should stay man-to-man -man most of the game. Rendleman gets loose and lays it in. UNC Wilmington, offensive end. We played two and a half minutes, each team with a couple of baskets. Compto, tough shot. I think we'll see this combination a good bit. Knife and through Tomko, no one stopped him. All American, all those things, but he's still a guy that really comes to work every day, and you'll get better when you have that kind of attitude. Rendleman knocks down a threes. What about those tall northeastern guys all know how to shoot threes, huh? Felder answers with a three of his own. It says second of the night. The Gators have a couple guys just a point away from hitting double digits. Tomko finds Wilson for the basket. 77-60 is the final score. So the Georgetown backcourt against the experience of Old Dominion. It is opening night. Well, they, of course, lost Greg Monroe, who's now with the Detroit Pistons in the NBA. Monroe, a great player, and Patel takes advantage and scores. Ben Finney, the senior, attacks the basket. Baseball with six to choose. To Cooper. Cooper stays with it. Carter and Finney. Deep three for Carter. Great play by Clark to break up that potential alley-oop. And Bazemore knocks down the jumper. Georgetown within two. Finney for three, and he got it. James sets up Finney. Back to James into Hassell. Into Hassell. Baysmore got a three. Georgetown on top by two. Keon Carter ties it. He missed the front end. Carter's got to go with it. James. Darius James got a decent look at it. His shot didn't hit the rim, but what a ball game. As John Thompson the third and Blaine Taylor congratulate each other on a tremendous effort on opening night. Tonight from Bramlage Coliseum in Manhattan, the third rank, K-State Wildcats entertain the Dukes of James Madison and the Colonial Athletic Association. And if they can keep healthy this year, if they got a shot to do some damage in the CAA, it's a great backup. Well, right now they're taking advantage of the overplay by K-State. And Jackson steals it, the freshman from Kentucky, and gets the easy two. Chad Jackson, who's the mom rooting for? And the son was trying to get a bunch of points. And there's Goins again. He's a real pain in the tail for K-State. That's nine for Goins. And their physicality, they have hands on you. They're going to beat you up there. Great press break by James Madison to alleviate all the pressure. Denzel Bowles with his first basket of the game. I'm, I'm lucky I had played with a great player, Mike Bibby, who would have recognized that also. Well, you guys were an outstanding tandem. Devon Moore gets the shot. And James Madison gets the last two points and that. Extra pass. Wells has been quiet tonight. He's got five. Go and see it. Enriquez Roberts. And Bowles. There's the athleticism we've been waiting for. Excellent lob pass. Maybe that can get him going here in the last, you know, last ten minutes, last nine minutes of the game. Bullen leads to all scores with 18. Russell right behind him with 15. And a three by Julius Wells. To give credit to James Madison, Matt Brady in his third year, they are different. Our final score, K-State winning 75-61. Follow all the action of CAA basketball online at caasports.com.